to you meeting Vaseem. Okay. So, I, what you, do guys, you, want to know? <laughs> you guys met at a, at a gathering where he approached you, he saw you and he walked up to you and introduced himself. No, he didn't walk up. And the story changes a bit. Hey, I think his memory is like getting <laughs> Okay. <laughs> My, I'm like an elephant. Um, so, what happened? So, you guys were in a, in a, in a party in no, a no, gathering? No, and we were introduced. It wasn't a big deal actually. There was yeah. not much. Uh, yeah. it, we, I know the first time it was not. No, we, were just, yeah. uh, we started talking with friends. I gave him my card because I was in PR at the mm. time and I didn't know anything about cricket. Mm. I know, I didn't. Mm. But I've fallen in love with cricket since because <laughs> being in Pakistan was <laughs> such a cricket fanatic country. Yeah. I got to watch so much cricket and mm. I absolutely love it now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, back then it was, it, we emailed back and forth. Um, it was, there was something there because we, we just laughed when we, when we did speak on the phone. Um, it was just, uh, we, we, we found each other so funny. We yeah. didn't talk anything about cricket, nothing about, and he was just telling me how much he was a big deal in Pakistan. And yeah, I know, want to know when he came to you and he said, you know, maybe he I'm a big thing. Maybe so <laughs> <laughs> that was very obvious, by the way. No, <laughs> maybe <laughs> that he had fallen over you. But I don't think we could make this work. Yeah. So we just didn't entertain it. Mm. it was, oh, you thought it was not going to work. Well, we know so we didn't. We just didn't assume. So you guys, oh. I'm from Melbourne, from Pakistan, with different generations, with different. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We'll go to that part, part uh, in, in a bit. Said, yeah. uh, but first, tell me when he came to you and he said, you know, I'm this, this in Pakistan, and you know, I'm a big thing. I love why you like <laughs> making out like you said it like that. <laughs> what did you think? What went in your mind of this guy coming up to me and saying, oh, I, you know, I'm a big thing in Pakistan? Well, he didn't say it that think? day. No, he didn't say it that day. It was after a little while. Yeah. Um, so whenever you I remember I met him and see I was in I was in Bali a lot uh, because my, my sister has a business there and I was helping her with that and my parents have a villa there as well so it's very close to my heart Bali and then I had to go to Singapore for a visa and we were we'd emailed each other and he said he was going to be there mm -hmm. and he was there with his children um, so I we had a mutual friend there in in Singapore and so I, I we met up. And that was when it started because we just had so much fun. We took, let's take the kids out to the zoo and we took oh, them out nice. somewhere else. And um, oh, it was, I still remember that weekend. It was just so much fun. The little, the little one and I were playing Pakistani survivor in a storm running across a bridge. <laughs> I just remember we were just laughing. <laughs> and I think um, I was the one who was like, I think I must have fallen in love with the, I started getting feelings for the little boys. I was like, oh, I don't want to leave them. I want to he play played them. the right <laughs> tricks on you. He's ah. like, <laughs> I'll get the show, kids. Show the kids. <laughs> the cute kids. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. And I'm from an all girl family, so yeah. I don't know anything about boys. Yeah. Um, in terms of raising boys or having mm. brothers, I only have my cousins and um, they just used to pull my hair and be mean to me. Mm. So I don't know, not now, not anymore. <laughs> I love my cousins. Love you yeah. guys. Um, um, but I went to an all-girls school, yeah. so with boys it was something different, it was something fun and it was great and, and then after that I think we emailed a little bit more yeah. and then he was coming to Australia so we met up and, um, and I think, yeah, I, th I think he got the feels. <laughs> <laughs> the feels is an Australian term for when yeah. you start liking someone, yeah. I don't know, because yeah. the, the phone calls got a bit more, mm. you know, mm. frequent. <laughs> And um, then it was the just emails got longer. The emails got a bit longer, um, and the phone, yeah, yeah. So I was just, it was, it was a long time. Were you feeling now, the same way? I think we were both hesitant. Yeah. Because we knew Pakistan was on the cards. Okay. If we were to take this forward, so that was the main. He was, yeah. That I was, that was stopping both of you from actually taking this further. There was never a convers. There was never going to be me taking him out of, of, of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. And there was never him going to be leaving. Yeah. I just didn't want that for him. Mm. He that he loved his country so much. Mm. He's so devoted to Pakistan yeah. that when I uh, when we did meet, I I knew that that's where I would have to go. So when did that decision happen? How we did it we didn't decide. Just like I said, it all just happened from okay. one moment. Maybe it must have been Pakistan survivor with Akbar on the bridge. I don't know. <laughs> um, from that moment, I was invested, and mm. I think so was he. And we were again just friends and we we knew if we let go the romantic side would happen but mm. we needed to guard ourselves and be smart we both weren't young must have been very difficult it wasn't really? that's the thing not to everyone to tried to convince to me what are you doing are you crazy and these are people around me i didn't tell anyone yeah. because i knew people would definitely put in their two cents mm, yeah um meaning their opinion 
and I didn't want to um, really tell many people, my close friends and family, I told. And they were like, well, there's so much against you. Yeah. There's so much stuff that you, just even a parent would say, just with age different, oh, that's not going to yeah. work. Yeah. So there were so many things, but I remember I'm from a family my parents have met since they were 14, 15 years old, and they're still together, they've been together 50 years. Oh, my um, Yeah, and yeah. my grandparents as well. Um, my grandmother died two weeks before my grandfather yeah. and they've been to, they were together 65 years or something so I mean we're a family of love and I remember mm. my mum said if, if it's meant to be you go get it like okay. it just just do what you think is is okay. meant to happen okay you get one life yeah and nice. so I give it a go she said the scariest thing about this whole situation would be regretting not ever following it through wow that's so nice and I thought well yeah, imagine living every day thinking this could have been. Mm -hmm. So we didn't talk about it. We just knew we had to keep our walls up until I suppose I got to Pakistan. Oh, so you came to check? Well, I, ca I came. You came to and see how it was going to be. And, um, yeah. and it was incredible. Yeah. And like I said, it was the boys made it even even better. And So by that time you had not decided? You had not taken a final decision? No, there was no there verbal was no, communication. Okay. So after it was your just trip? The, we were all about feeling. It was just... Yeah. Let's you guys this. were scared to just put it out let's there, right? Let's do this, let's yeah. check it out. And yeah. um, then we went back to Australia and then I think after that, not long after that, we were engaged. Mm, nice. And yeah. four months later married. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely love story. Yeah, no, it was. There was no, there, mm. when you know, you know. And yeah. people always ask, like, always young girls always ask and say, how do you know? Boys, they say, how do you know? And you just know. No. Yeah. You just know. Really? Well, look at all. How do you know? Even after so many years, people get divorced or anything. So, how do you know this is the right you person? You know, I don't know. If how, people, how I'm do not decide? saying I support divorce. I'm not saying I don't. I'm just think you know for that time. So, so you know that you you get this feeling that this you is know the that person. That's your part. Yeah. Or or this is the person you want to settle down with. You just don't want to have a time pass. Nothing with that is for, nothing. I mean, nothing is forever. We we know that people mm -hmm. come and people go and. Uh, life has its own its own way for us, but I think you know for that time, yeah. and you just go with it, enjoy it. That's what mm. you're alive. I can see that still in you, <laughs> on your face, the way you're talking about it. But I've even think. met wonderful people who've had arranged mm. marriages, and yeah. it's worked, and they've fallen in love. True. How do you explain that to me, True. True. to somebody who, if it comes from a country that is liberated and free enough to be able to choose who you want to settle down yeah. with? I'm not gonna. I'm not meant to understand that, but I 100% understand that, and I'm a 100% supporter yeah. of the way that Pakistanis get married. Yeah. But it's changing here now, right? You also know that. But that's that's. Arranged marriages are becoming slightly. I don't yeah. feel like I support anything that's forced. Hmm. I yeah, think of course. I'm not. talking about when yeah. the parents get involved uh, and yes, the kids like yeah. it, and, and I think it's just a. It's really beautiful, beautiful how yeah. the families Why all get not? together, yeah. and yeah. Um, you yeah. know it's. Yeah. It's just wonderful. You've got so much support system around you. You've got everyone wanting you to work. Yeah. And, and everyone's definitely trying to help sometimes <laughs> way too much. Too